Okay, guys, this is my huge haul from the flea market. Total spend was $125 for everything, and one item will make that money back plus some. So let's go through the stuff. Hi, guys, my name is Missy, and I am a full time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage sales, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, dumpsters, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved. I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a huge haul video and I apologize if it tends to be a little bit long. But this is the haul from the flea markets that you just seen me go to. And I spent a total of $125 between both days. We went on Friday and Sunday. And I think I did quite well. I got one item for 50 cents that will make all my money back. So I'm going to show you guys that first. Um, it was, we got this on Sunday and I seen it Friday and I didn't think anything of it. And then Sunday we went back and thankfully, um, that booth was still there cause some of the booths were gone and uh, not there Sunday, but this was on a table that everything was 50 cents. He said, everything is 50 cents. So be on the lookout for this. This is a bolo item. Okay, this is a Sony, my first Sony cassette player in the box. And unfortunately, it the box is a little tore up, so I have to I'm going to tape that, but and I'll mention that in the ad. And unfortunately, here. Let's see, let's see if I can get it out real quick. Okay, see it's still See, it's still wrapped up. It's brand new, but it doesn't have the headphones, unfortunately. Now, I don't know if that makes a huge difference since, um, I don't know. I'm still, the ones that I've seen sold, there was only two sold, and they were like 179 to, oh, some, I think a little over $200 the last time I looked. I couldn't remember. And so if mine doesn't have the headphones, I'm just going to start it out at 125 and see where it goes from there. I can always go down a little bit, but um, like I said, I spent 125 total on all this stuff. So this one item should make my money back. It is so cool. My first Sony. So yes, this should sell for quite a bit of money. And I've seen some listed on Etsy for over $200. So... I'm pretty excited about that. And this still has the box. It's just missing the headphones, unfortunately. Which I was a bummer, but for 50 cents, that is such a score. Okay, I will put that together back later. Okay. So then I got this at that same booth, and I think it was like a dollar or so. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember a lot of the prices. Because it was last week. I'm a week behind, I know. It's horrible. I need to get this stuff listed. But this, and she's vintage from 1983 Hallmark. It says on the back, Hallmark Cards, Inc. 1983. So I got her. Then I got some Eden Collins purses. I love these. Now they do need a little bit of work. I got two these two. And she had them marked at fifteen dollars a piece. The tags they were. She had them fifteen a piece, and I asked her, "What would you do if I bought both?" And see their wooden bottoms. They're just awesome. I love them so much. Um, I said, "What would you do if I bought them both?" And she did twenty-two. So I paid like eleven dollars a piece. Not bad at all. I love these. Okay. I got so much stuff. And then I ended up getting this at a different booth. And this one is not the Eden Collins. This one is 
and I didn't even know that another company made these, but it's um, Gary Gale, Gary Gale Dallas, until I looked them up. So I like this. It is a little damaged right there, but I only paid, I love my vintage purses, and I will pay a little bit more for these, because most of the time I'm cheap. I will admit it, I am a cheap person. <laughs> I like to get good deals. Um, but I will pay a little bit more for these, so I ended up paying $7 for this, even though it is broken, but I love it. It's a box purse, a vintage box purse, and it's, if you can see on the corners, they are dovetailed. It's just, I love it. And the butterflies, gorgeous. And the mirror on the inside, I love it. I love vintage purses. I really do. Okay, then I got this off the 50 cent table at that first booth and I scanned it. It's new in the package. The package is a little bit worn, but um, it's brand new, still in the package. These go for like $49.95. So this is technically another bolo item. Be on the lookout for it. Okay. And now this, I don't know. I think I paid $2 for it. Um, two or three dollars. I just thought it was cool. See, it's an old bottle and somebody like melted it and smashed it somehow. So it's just like art glass now. But I really like it. I think it's, it is really neat. So I don't know. I love art glass, but I'm probably going to end up selling this because I like the swung glasses better, but I think it's cool. Can you see the bottom? I don't know what it says. I have no idea. But it's cool, I like it. All right, then I got another vintage purse, and this one, I think I paid a dollar and a, a dollar fifty for this one. As if I see the tag still, then I remember what the discount I got. And usually I get try to get like half price. I paid a dollar fifty for this one and it is marked. It is labeled on the inside, um, made in Italy, and it does have the So I really, really like it and I like the lining. I mean this purse is cute. It's a woven a woven style. And then the hand the Sorry guys. And it just buckles that way and then the handle's like metal. So cute. I love this. Love vintage purses. So for a dollar fifty for a purse made in Italy, not bad. Then I got this guy for five bucks. And he is a vintage. Um she originally wanted ten, but I got her down to five because I got this with something else I will show you later on in the video. I bundled it, but it's really, really good shape. No rust at all. It's a vintage chrome penguin ice bucket with Bakelite handles. These are Bakelite. So it's really, really cute. I love it. So I paid five bucks for that. Not bad at all. And then I bundled this with, um, some another thing I'm getting ready to show you and one other thing that I'll show you later in the video as well because I boxed up the glass stuff separately but I love this vintage purse oh my goodness is that not freaking awesome I love this I went straight for this as soon as I seen it now I got this this vintage purse and these canister sets, these vintage canister sets. And I think I paid 22 for all those. And it's the whole set is in here. This one, this one. And 
and they're really not in that bad of shape. I mean, they have a little bit of rust on the bottom, but you these are getting more and more hard to come by the the vintage ones. And I love the handles. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Adorable. And they are marked um Kanet C A N E E or C A N E T T E. And then it gives a number. It's hard for me to see with these my contacts in reading small letters, but I love them. So I got the canister set, the vintage purse, and this other cute little long, he's got a long neck, I'll show you him, but I only paid $22 for all of it. So not bad at all. I'm excited. I'll make more than $22 off of this if I decide to sell it. I love this vintage purse. Okay. Then the last thing in this box is this and this is a vintage Packard um, hood ornament and he does have a little bit of condition issues like the you know um, what's the word I'm trying to think of corrosion but he's still a vintage Packard hood ornament and I only paid four dollars for him and uh, these sell for pretty good money on eBay. Just look them up. They range in different prices, but I like it. And see how it's got the kind of the lip? I mean, that's how you can tell it's a Packard and then the tail. I love it. And he's not broken at all. So that should do pretty well. Let's scoot this box over. Okay, then I got this. I got this at the same booth as the My First Sony, but I got this the very first day. This was the only thing I got on, at the booth that day, on the first day, but it was $4, and it's a vintage cigarette holder with mushrooms on it. Oh my goodness, and it's plastic. It is not marked, I don't think, so I don't even... I don't know. This is just going to be have to be something that I just list, I guess. I love it. Adorable. And like I said, $4. That's it. Then I got, these were on a dollar table at a booth. They have a $3 sticker on them um, each, but I they were on the dollar table, so I only paid a dollar a piece for them. And they are vintage feather art. I love the frames. And I believe these were originally made in Mexico, but I'm not for sure. I just, aren't they adorable? And um, so they have the stickers on the back, but they're faded. You can't even see what they say. But I have another um, feather art thing that I'm going to put with these. So that'll be three. Th a set of three when I list them. I just love them. For a dollar a piece, two bucks, not bad. Then I got this um, for 50 cents. And I thought this was adorable. It's a vintage child's, like, Humpty Dumpty rattle. And... Like a children's tour, but it is not marked either. Nope. So, I don't know. I thought it was cute. And for 50 cents. And the paint's still really nice on it. It does have a little bit of a sticker I gotta get off of there, but... I mean, I just thought that was cute. Okay. Then I got this. And at this... At this booth, um, it was buy one, get one free. And so I think the majority of everything was $5 a piece, $5 for each item. So I got, I paid $2 and 50 cents for this. And then I'll show you the other thing. It's wrapped up, it's glass, but I need to get batteries to see if this works. I've never seen a radio is what it is. 
I've never seen anything like that before, and it is marked on the bottom. So I need to look it up. I haven't even looked it up or tested it or anything, but I did look in the battery compartment, and it is clean. It is very nice. So I don't know why it wouldn't work. I just need to test it. Test it out, get some batteries and test it. But I just thought that was adorable. For And it's a radio. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm running out of room here. Then I got this for a dollar. It was on a dollar table. I just thought it was adorable. The Tailspins, Gummy Bears, Chippendale, and DuckTales. And they're, it's brand new in the package. I like it. I thought it was cute. So, I don't know the date on it. Oh, yeah. 1991. This is down there. 1991. So, for a dollar, I thought that was cute. And I got this off the 50 cent table where I got the fir my first Sony Walkman. And I don't know if this works or not. It's in a little bit of a rough shape. Like it looks like it had been dropped and stuff. But it's a Sony Sports Walkman. So I need to test this out and see if it works. But I'm like for 50 cents. You can't beat that. It still has batteries in it, but I don't think that they are any good. But it's not rusty and they're not corroded. It's it's still really nice. So we'll see for 50 cents, not bad. That might be another Bolo too. All right, then I got this for a dollar. I think he was a dollar. He's a brass turtle. And he's a little trinket box, and he's brass. He is not marked anywhere. He does have an old price sticker on the bottom for $8.95. Or $8.29, sorry. But I just thought for being a brass turtle trinket box, yes, please, for $1. I couldn't go wrong. Then I got this for free. Uh, the last day, a lady was just putting out a bunch of stuff. And I did have a Hager vase, but I noticed it was broke. So I put it, I just put it back. Um, but I like this. John Deere hat. Vintage John Deere cap for free. And it still got the tags. It's in really nice shape, too. These sell um, on eBay. Okay, then I got this. Oh, where's my other one? Okay, it's right here. I got a pair of these. And they are just beautiful, and there's no chips or cracks. They're hand painted. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? They are so pretty. I love these. I love the colors. I mean, they are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love these. And they're not marked. It's, it's smooth on the bottom, but it's got like a little... But I really like these. These are just so beautiful. And I paid a dollar each for these. So $2 for the set of two. Not bad at all. I love going into the last day deals. I think going to the flea market, I think, because it's so busy on Saturdays. It's really, really busy on Saturdays. So I think that the best days are going Friday and Sunday. All right, then I got this little tin toy for a dollar, but I liked him. Oh my gosh, I love snails. And it's got a Made in China sticker on it, so it's not old. But I just got it because it's a snail. And I love it. And it's adorable. And you like, he's a put, pullback. So he's cute. All right, then. 
Oh, I love these. You guys seen these in the video? I ended up paying a dollar a piece for these. He was asking five for the set, but he sold them to me for $3 for the set. And I should make pretty good money off of these as well. They're glass poodles. And they're not broken anywhere. All their tails are in great. Like, they don't have any broken parts at all. They're so adorable. Oh, my goodness. Do you see these? I'm not doing a very good job, but they're so cute. And like I said, he was asking five for the set, but he sold me the whole set for... Um, three bucks so not bad at all they're cute little glass poodles that are still in, in intact with no chips or you know there's no broken pieces at all so i was pretty excited about that let me wrap these back up here i don't want those to break okay then I got, this was on the same dollar table as those vases that I just showed you. Let me see if I can find this partner. Okay. I got this set and these were a dollar a piece as well. Oh, but I just now noticed that. Oh, that's probably why they were a dollar a piece. I can't believe I just, I am just now noticing that. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know, it's like that on that one too. That's weird how I didn't notice it. Okay, I got this set. Look at this beautiful set. And now I will show you what I'm talking about. Do you see how the paint on that white right there? It's kind of a bummer, but they are marked made in Japan. And there's no chips or cracks on these except for the paint coming off right there. Do you see it? It's coming off on that one and that one too. So I don't really know. I just thought these Lusterware set is gorgeous. These are so beautiful. I love them. And for a dollar a piece, I think that's pretty good. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm trying to wrap things back up. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to have to get everything crowded up and do it later all right oh then i got these i stopped at a garage sale um after the flea market on the way home because i wish i would have stopped at more garage sales because usually garage sales are good it was like citywide garage sales in this tiny little town it's called watch here it's where they do the flea market and a bunch of people in town also have garage sales I stopped at this garage sale and I got these and these were a dollar for the set. They, so they were only 50 cents a piece. But I just, after I got it, I noticed that one's missing his little winky eye or his, see their winky kitties. And they used to make noise, but they, but they don't make noise no more. But they're salt and pepper shakers. They're adorable. And I paid 50 cents a piece for those. Okay. Okay, then with, I showed you the ice bucket that I got earlier. I bundled these with the ice bucket and I paid $5 for the set of these. So I paid $10 total. $5 for the ice bucket and $5 for these. And these are so, my mom already claimed them, so I'm not going to sell, be able to sell them for as much. But I love them. They're chalkware fish. 
who does not love chalkware fish? I mean, they are beautiful. My mom's got a whole chalkware wall. So I like them. See, they got things so you can hang them up on the back. And they're in good shape, not broken at all. So $5 for the set of these. Which normally you could sell these for probably $35 to $45 for the set on eBay. But since they're going to my mother, who knows? Okay, then I got this. Which one is this? I got a fairy lamp. And this one, I believe... Yes, this is the one I got for, I couldn't believe it. This was on a quarter table, you guys. Seriously, a quarter table. I couldn't believe it. A fairy lamp, and it's an Indiana glass. I think it's um, cut glass, stars and bars. But it's beautiful, beautiful. A fairy lamp for 50 cents. And there's no chips or cracks. It's gorgeous. And it's Indiana glass. Beautiful. Can't believe it. I really scored at that one. That's, I, I at that same booth is where I, um, I got the hood ornament for $4. And I got this for a quarter. Can you believe it? It's just craziness. Okay. Huh. I'll set that right there for now. All right. And, oh, here's my, um, my birdie that I got with this vintage purse and the canister sets. I love him. Isn't it adorable with the long neck? It's just, I don't know. I love it. I don't even know what it's supposed to be because it doesn't have any holes. It's not a salt and pepper shaker. I don't, you couldn't put rings over it because the beak. So I don't, I don't know. I just love it. I think it's amazing. All right. And he's not broken at all. Like, I don't buy bro. I don't, I try not to buy broken things. Sometimes I make a mistake, but I inspected his neck over very well. It's not been repaired at all. No chips or cracks whatsoever. Okay. Then, I got this off a dollar table. And I love it. I love peacocks. It's just beautiful. And it's marked on the back. Stamped Japan. But I just think that's gorgeous. Is that not gorgeous? for $1. All right, I just heard my son pull up, so I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So then I got this, and I love this, and I believe, I believe this was at the same booth that the Lucite candles that I passed up. I can't believe I passed those up still, you guys. It bothers me. But, um, well, I just didn't see them. I just wasn't paying attention, I guess, or something. I even hit it with my hand. It's weird. But anyways, I got this there. And it was at the same booth as the Poodles, too. It was like he had several booths down the line. But I paid um, $3 for this Chalkware dog. He was marked 5 But I paid um, $3 for him. And he is a Chalkware dog. Oh, my God goodness isn't he not adorable and he's not broken at all either i 
I just love him. So yeah, three dollars. Not bad. I love getting good deals. Okay. Then. Oh yeah, this was, I got this. This was with um, the buy one, get one free. So where I got this, I got this. And it is a beautiful mid-century modern ashtray that is marked Stanford Sebring O USA. I don't know how good that's coming in, but adorable. No chips or cracks. Is that not just gorgeous, you guys? I love this piece with the gold and the black and the white. So, yeah. Yes, please. So, basically, I only paid $2.50 if you want to do it that way. So, $2.50 for the radio and $2.50 for this. Not bad at all. Then I got another fairy lamp, and I think I paid a dollar fifty for this one. Yeah, it's marked two, and she gave it to me for a dollar fifty. And it's I need to clean it up a little bit because it's got some wax on the inside. But it's another Indiana cut glass stars and bars pattern. Beautiful. This one needs cleaned up a little bit because it's not as shiny. It's a little bit dusty. But no chips or cracks. And I love it. The, this one is flash glass. It is flash glass, but it's stars and bars cut glass, Indiana glass. I love it. And fairy lamps are really, really in right now. People seem to love them. Actually, this one's already claimed by my mother as well, too. She wants the fish, and she wants the fairy lamp. the One of the red fairy lamps I got, because I got another one. You'll see it in an upcoming video. I got another one, another red fairy lamp. Okay. Then I got these paperweights. Oh, no, this isn't the paperweight. Never mind. This is a crackle glass. And I can't be, I can't remember how much I paid for this. Like a quarter or 50 cents. No more than a dollar. But I don't think I would have paid a dollar for this. I don't know. But it's crackle glass. It's a blue one. And I got it because I have a bunch of... Like, I think there's five of them that I need to get listed. I'm just going to list them all in a group, and they're little ones like this. But not one of them is blue, and not one of them is shaped like this either. So that's why I got it to go with that set. And it's beautiful. I love it. Some people really like crackle glass. All right. Then, ooh, this is one of my favorite things that I got. And I paid $6 for him. And I love him. And the guy said it was whole, but it isn't marked. It, it's weird, the bottom. It, it's not marked at all. I can't read what that says. But it does say, I can read the date. It says 1958. But I love fish. I'm really into the fish decor right now. And this is just gorgeous gorgeous planter and I paid six dollars like I said for this no chips or cracks and it's gorgeous who does not love that come on you guys beautiful okay I love it and I'm probably gonna have a hard time selling it because I love it okay here is one of the paperweights I got and I paid $2.50 for this one because everything was half off in this booth. 
and it was marked five. So I paid $2.50 for this one. It's just an art glass paperweight. I love it. I'm really into paperweights right now and I love art glass. I'm a sucker for art glass. And for $2.50, you can't beat that. And the other one that I got, it's right here. It is marked on the bottom. It does have a sticker, but I can't read. I couldn't read what it, what it says because it's a little worn. Oh gosh, it's not wanting to focus very well. I don't know, but it is another beautiful glass paperweight. I love it. This one I paid $3 for. So $5 is not bad for the two paperweights. Okay, then I got some depression glass, some uranium glass that glows, and it was on a dollar trailer. It, this guy had a bunch of glassware, bunches and bunches of glassware, and it said dollar, dollar each. And I'm like, okay, that's crazy. But I got this piece. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful, beautiful? I love it for $1. I gotta get the sticker off the inside. That won't be hard. A little warm water, vinegar, soak it in vinegar. That's an easy way to get stickers off glass. Just like put some vinegar, dab vinegar on it and then let it sit for a little bit and warm water will take it right off. Okay. And the other piece of uranium glass that I got there was this piece and I love it he had plates and some other things but these were the two that I liked these were the two pieces that I liked the most and I didn't want to carry them around a bunch of glass so I love this I just thought this was very very pretty and like I said, these are uranium glass. If you put them under a black light, they will glow. My mother collects these. So who knows if she'll want these ones too. She wants everything that I buy. And I try to get her to go with me. If she would just go with me, then she wouldn't have to pay as much, right? Okay. That's the problem. Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's the good thing. This was a dollar. This was on the dollar, one of the dollar tables, and I will be keeping this. It's a swung glass vase. Look at that. I love it. It's, it's dirty on the inside, so I'll probably try to soak it with hot water and Dawn dish soap and rinse it out, but I will be keeping it because I love it, and I collect swung vases. And it was only one dollar. You gotta love those dollar deals. I mean, sometimes it's not worth picking up. Like, just because it's a dollar doesn't mean it's worth picking up. Okay, don't get me wrong. When I first started out doing this, I was like picking up everything because it was a dollar. And that was a big mistake. Don't do that. Don't, you'll turn into a hoarder. <laughs> okay. Oh, then I got this three-piece fit and set. Uh, well, this was two pieces. This set was a pair. This creamer and sugar set. I got this, and it, this was $5 for the pair. And it was in the half-off booth, so I only paid $2.50 for the pair of fit and glass hobnail. It's, I love it. I think it's beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to put it with, I got one more piece and I'm going to put it with this. And this was $1.50. So I paid, what did I say? $2.50, $3.50, dollars I paid $4 for this whole set. So this beautiful bowl 
and these two pieces. Five, is that what I said, five dollars? Two dollars and fifty cents. That's craziness, or four dollars. Four dollars for this whole set is what I paid. And it's beautiful, no chips or cracks. Not everybody's a fan of Fenton glass, but I think it's very pretty. I like the, I love how that is. I like that. And for $4 for this whole set, I will probably start out listing it for like, I don't know, maybe $32 for the set. So not bad at all. Okay, then I got one more piece in this box. It looks like, and I think I know what it is already. And I'm, this is a piece I'm keeping because I absolutely love him. He's a monkey and he's like, kind of like that spaghetti. Oh my goodness. Is he not the cutest thing you guys? I can't remember what that's called, like spaghetti or sugar. I I don't know, but I like these and I've got a collection of these. So, but I don't have a monkey, so I'm keeping him. Adorable. All right, then that was it for that box and I got two more things. Okay, this was $2.50. It's marked five. Everything was half price at this booth. This folk art, vintage, children's rocking horse type thing. Oh my gosh, look at the paint. It is unbelievable. I love this. So this I'll probably get about anywhere from $35 to $45 for, I believe. And then the last thing that I got is this Go-Go's vintage suitcase and this was only 50 cents i got this where i got actually i really just got this to carry stuff around in it um because my little cart was filling up and i got it where i got the my first sony and all that so yeah i will be right back okay i'm back my stepdaughter was leaving and i wanted to tell her goodbye but anyways yeah, I got this originally just to carry stuff around in because it's, I mean, it's not in the best shape. I got to clean it up a little bit, but Go-Go Vintage Go-Go Suitcase. I did see one that sold. Um, I can't remember how much it sold for, but there was one that sold on there. So I should get anywhere from $25 to $35 for this. So that is my huge haul. I'm sorry it took so long. I have a lot of stuff. Like I said, $125 worth of stuff. Um, the My First Sony will make all my money back, so everything else is profit. So I think I scored big time, you guys. I'm so excited. If there's anything that you see that you're interested in, please feel free to message me. Um, you can follow me and watch my other YouTube videos. The link will be in the description below for my YouTube channel. And then, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that again. Um, like I said, all the links will be in the description below. The e my link to my eBay store, Etsy, Macari, Facebook, Instagram. They will all be in the description below. So please feel free to follow me. And remember to give this video a thumbs up because the more likes and subscribes I get, the more. Um, viewers I get so it's better for my channel it would be great if you guys could please share this video and like it um and until next time keep smiling and happy picking hey guys I hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like share and subscribe and until next time keep smiling and happy picking